Hi, I'm Tom Shu, and today we're going to talk about Hot Shoe Flash. And the reason why they call it Hot Shoe Flash is because it lives in the Hot Shoe. The problem with Hot Shoe Flash is that the pictures that you make when the flash is in the camera look like somebody walking around with a, a hat with a light on it called a miner's hat. It looks like miner's light. This flash on top of the lens in this same plane creates terrible light. So the challenge for us as photographers is to take this flash off the camera. Yeah, we can hook any kind of wire to it we want, or we can hook a wireless trigger to it like a pocket wizard, but the trick is how do you get it off of the camera? And since these things are so small, they're, you know, wonderful for putting in all kinds of unique places. But unless you have the proper tools to do so, it can be kind of difficult. So I want to go over some of the things that I use to take a camera off the flash. Chances are when you bought your flash, you have the ability to take it off the camera from day one. Most of them come with this little plastic shoe. Okay, This is a cold shoe. It doesn't have any kind of connections and your flash slips inside and locks on and it's got a little stand okay what also it has is a quarter twenty mount on the bottom okay on the bottom of all of them all of the OEM ones it has a little quarter twenty mount and on the top of most light stands which is a five eighths inch fixture there's some of the old stuff is quarter inch but most of today's stuff is five eighths inch there's a quarter twenty thread on the top basically this is the easiest and cheapest way to get your flash off the camera. I'm not saying you can hook a softbox on it, but you can get your flash off the camera. One of my favorite flashes is the SB80DX from Nikon. Well, I was turned on to this flash a long time ago, and it's a big favorite of many of the top pros, like Zach Arias lives by these little guys. So here we go. This just slips on there like this. It locks down. There's a little hole. Or pin and there you go you've got your your flash off the camera so you can raise it up high and now you can get this modeling on the face get that shadow on the face instead of it just blasting you in the face once you work with your flash for a while you'll find that this particular um, this little guy is not very um, durable it's made out of plastic some of them even have a metal insert, but it's still plastic. So you want to get your camera off the flash with something a little bit more durable. Um, there's little things you can buy. These are called super clamps. Uh, Enduro makes these. I'm sorry, Manfrotto makes these. And they can go on round things or they can go on uh, flat surfaces. And they have many things you can hook into this. So you could hook a spigot into it. Let's find a spigot real quick. Let's grab one. This is a spigot. Okay? It's a little brass adapter and it's got three eighths on one side and a quarter twenty on the other. Quarter twenty is mostly working with flash stuff and three eighths stuff is working with tripod heads. So basically this mounts into there like that and it locks down. And there's a safety net even if it's loose it can't fall out because there's a button on the side that you have to press in order to get this thing to come out okay so it's a safety net built in you see these got like little angles on them these little lips lock in it won't go in unless you push the button and then it locks out what also has some other things it has a little quarter twenty thread here and there's multiple holes which you can attach things to them you can attach a spigot to it for one or you can attach this little cold shoe that's made by Manfrotto. Okay. Now if you're going to mount your super clamp on a flat surface, they, have, they come with these blocks, these little V blocks, and they just pop in and out. If you're going on a round pipe, you take it out. And if you're mounting to a flat surface, they come with this little V block, it locks in. But if we wanted to mount our flash, say for example, we wanted to mount this 580EX2, they have a cold shoe. It's right here. It's adjustable. You just unscrew it to loosen it up. It lets you slide your flash on, okay? And then you can lock it down any way you like, okay? And once you lock it out, now you can tighten this any way you want. 
So say for example, we wanted to mount it on this big pipe here. We could mount it that way, and then we could, you know, manipulate the flash any way we had to. So you can see that that's a pretty, pretty neat thing. There's all kinds of little accessories like a Tinker Toys. Let's take this flash off. I took it loose, so let's unscrew that. Okay. They make all kinds of little accessories uh, for these guys. Let me slip this off. And this is what this little guy looks like. Okay, let me show it to you. It's a cold shoe, and it's got the quarter twenty thread on the bottom. Okay. Um, they also make an older style clamp. They're called mini clamps. It's a number seventy one. Okay. And what this does, it allows you to mount spigots, but it mounts in like a C clamp. It doesn't have those safety features built in like this one with the button on the side. This is a super clamp, this is a mini clamp. This will mount on things kind of like a C clamp, it will tighten down. And then you can mount in different things here. So if we want to put in uh, a big light, say for example one of our big strobes, it would use this 5 8 just like a top of a light stand. So anything you can mount onto the top of a light stand, this becomes a mobile light stand. Mini clamp. Now, there's some things you can also put on these super clamps. This is a flexible arm. You'll notice this has a hex head on it. And it does have a screw thread, so you can screw a spigot in there if you needed to. But the great thing about this hex head, if you look at the bottom of the super clamp, it also has a hex head. So what this does is, it only goes in one way, okay, and when it's locked in, it won't rotate. Let me pull this out a little bit and get past the safety catch. So now this thing will not spin. So we can mount this to something. Say if we mount it to our big clamp again. And now we could mount in a light and move it any way we needed to, okay? This is just a flexible arm. This is also made by Manfrotto. Let's pull this off. Okay. Here's a neat thing that I use all the time that they've been around forever. Okay, they've been modified by Justin. Uh, they were called a Justin clamp after Joe McNally got somebody from uh, Manfrotto to manipulate it for him. And I'll show you what he did. But what these guys are, are the Art 175s. They come in silver or black. These are old. I bought these for like $10 off eBay. But these are just the stock ones. You can mount a light stand on one side. So let's take this flash off. Oh, got too much stuff on my hands. Okay, let's set this flash down for a second. So it has a light stand mount here that you can mount this to a light stand. Okay. And these things are really flexible. Say, for example, I wanted to mount something here. I could mount an umbrella in here and mount a flash, and I'll show you that. But for now, I'm going to put a little bit of fill reflector on me to light up this side of the shadow from this hot light that I'm using over here for this tutorial. Okay, so this is pretty simple. We just come in here and hold our clamp up like this and put a reflector in it. And now we have a reflector stand. Okay, and if I need to raise this up, I can do that. Let's see here, get some reflector fill going on. Let's turn it. And now you can see that if I move forward, I can get rid of some of that shadow that I had before. Okay, so these are really, really flexible. Let me show you what Joe McNally did. Okay, he took these clamps and he put in a ball, a little um, a mini head, a ball head. So it's like a miniature ball head with a cold shoe and he put a spigot on the side of it. Okay, the original ones they don't have that spigot, they're just a clamp. Okay, I'll show you the difference between a Justin clamp. Okay, this one's been modified. I built my own Justin clamp. Okay, this one is a uh, Bogan 3009 mini ball head with a metal cold shoe that I like to use. And this one has this spigot on the side so I can mount a light on here or an umbrella clamp. So, say for example, I wanted to mount 
we'll take this off. You can see that this is a bare one. So these things are again like Tinker Toys. Let's take this off real quick. That's a little brass insert. So say if I wanted to put on two flashes, I have now another attach point for an umbrella clamp. Okay. And so now I can tighten this off. And now I've got two attach points. And I can just stick this right here on the side of a light stand. And I can mount two lights. Okay. Let's see how this works. You see, I can just mount this with the clamp side like this and use this cold shoe and this cold shoe to put flashes on. That's kind of neat, huh? Well, let me show you how you can hook up an umbrella setup with just the clamp and a flash. So instead of having to spend another $30 on a clamp, this is kind of like a universal solution. All right. So what you would do is you take and mount this. Let me drop this stand down a little bit. Take and mount your adjusting clamp right on top okay and now we're gonna mount a flash up here okay this lets you position the flash and drop it down just a little bit for for the video okay so let's grab our flash let's use a 580 EX2 in this case say if we want to do a shoot through umbrella okay this is one way we could do it and the great thing about this stuff there's nothing etched in stone on how this stuff works you kind of just do it the way you want. So you lock down your flash. Okay. And this flash can be positioned in any way to get into the center of the umbrella. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Okay. And you grab your shoot through. Say this is our umbrella. This is the old cheap shoot through. And we'll just mount it right here on this Justin clamp. Now we want to center our light inside this umbrella. Let's see if you can see better like this. Maybe like this. Let me move my reflector. I don't want to damage anything. Whoa. I'm hitting all kinds of stuff. I'm on tight quarters here. Okay, so there's our umbrella. And now we want the flash to be in the middle of the umbrella. This is all we have to do is readjust the clamp. Okay, you kind of got the idea? So now we can raise this up and we can have a nice shoot through umbrella. Okay, this is a pretty unique guy here. I also use this for two flash setups when I'm working with um, big stands like C stands. I like to use C stands in the field because the wind blows real bad. And these little light stands, they aren't very strong. Okay, there's thin aluminum tubing, and if you put too much weight on them, especially with a big modifier, what's going to happen is it's going to break your light stand. Okay. Okay, so let's go over a couple more things you can use. All right, say for example, you didn't want to use a light stand in the field and you have an assistant working with you, say at a wedding. Okay, what you can do is use any type of um, monopod and you can convert it into a light stand. Okay, this is how you do that. First, let's get a little bit of length on this guy so I can set it on the ground. Okay, most monopods they come with a quarter 20 thread okay so you can just adapt straight into an umbrella adapter with a, a spigot this is what a spigot looks like it comes with your uh, umbrella adapter okay this one is pretty much the industry standard it's made by Manfrotto um, I think it's the 026 I have a hard time remembering all of the model numbers but when you buy it, it comes with two brass fittings, and these are called spigots. So, if you are using the quarter 20 thread, you just put the spigot right on the end of your uh, monopod, and now you can stick your umbrella clamp on it, okay? And now you're ready to mount a flash. Let's move this down a little bit. Let's grab us a flash. Let's see. I'll just grab my Nikon over here. I'm working alone. Normally I would have somebody handing me all this stuff so I don't look like I'm just fumbling around so much. But I think you guys can get the idea. All right. Now, there is an angle on this guy, and you want to make sure that when you're angled it, you want the angle to be facing up. So if you keep this handle on the right, that will keep your umbrella shaft facing up so that when it mounts in there, I'll show you. Here's the umbrella.
when the umbrella mounts in that the flash is facing to the center so we'll just hold that if you have it backwards the, the flash won't face to the center of the umbrella okay it'll be facing the other way so this is a quick way to get your flash off of your camera all with just one little umbrella adapter okay let me show you another way that you can get into getting your off your camera off flash for the cheap let's pull this umbrella off okay now you don't have to buy this particular uh, umbrella adapter although I recommend it it's not necessary what's necessary is just this spigot so you can just buy the, buy the brass spigot and Westcott makes a nice little umbrella adapter let me find one real quick it's right here Westcott it makes this nice little umbrella adapter they're twenty nine dollars and you can put your flash and your modifier you can use a Westcott softbox like the Apollo line just back this little guy out and this will drop on your spigot and now you've got your umbrella adapter with your flash we'll put your flash on and the same thing there's a hole in it except this hole it's not at an angle okay so it's going to be hard to get your flash to go in the center of the modifier okay we'll put this in here like this and as you can see that it's hard to get the flash to point center because this one's parallel instead of running at an angle like this and letting your flash shoot to the center of your umbrella this still works great this is a nice setup okay but for 29 bucks and the price of a shoot through umbrella you're in the game okay so let's pull this off now let me show you one more or two more things that you can do um, let's pull this flash off um, here we go Casey's there's this company called Casey's and I'll try to put a link in the post and what Casey's makes is a whole bunch of different adapters and they make some beauty dishes and things like this but they also make this right here okay this is an adapter to 5 8 but the great thing is it uses a paint pole okay you can buy these paint poles for around ten dollars you can buy a wood one for like about six or you can buy these telescoping ones you know for you know maybe twelve or thirteen dollars so you can get really tall and get your light far away and what this paint pole adapter is it's got the same thread as the paint pole and you just screw this on I've cross threaded this thing quite a few times so we'll just screw this on real quick and it probably won't go all the way on and I won't try to make it go all the way and then now you're ready for your umbrella adapter or any kind of light that you want put your flash on and you're good to go alright so now you can get your flash really 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 high if you wanted to whoops I hit the ceiling fan <laughs> okay so this is a paint pole adapter the whole idea is to get the flash off the camera you don't always have to have a light stand if you got somebody to help you and um, just a few of these little adapters a cold shoe and an umbrella uh, adapter you can really make some beautiful pictures especially during weddings and parties or events and stuff like that where people are walking around you don't have a big footprint to set up light stands uh, although I see people carrying around light stands all the time it's best just to hire an assistant which is a a voice activated light stand and just buy a couple adapters and you're good to go next time I'm going to show you how to take a speed light and use it with a soft box with this particular setup we're going to be using shafted modifiers when I say shafted like an umbrella shaft Apollo line some of the last light ones umbrellas stuff like that those have been the staple for photography for decades if you want to move to soft boxes and you want to work with the speed lights, you're going to have to come up with speed ring, some type of speed ring. Yes, you can use spigots with speed rings, but that's another blog post. I've taken enough time from you guys today, and until next time, we'll see you soon.